up everybody it's titanic feet jack and i'm back at you with another video before we get into today's sneaker i need a couple things from you i need you to hit that like button also need you to drop a comment in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on the video today and the sneaker we're about to look at and if you haven't already need you to sub up to the channel also do hit that notification bell so you know when i come back with more content today i have an early look for you guys this sneaker is set to release at the time of recording, April the 15th, I believe. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, if you haven't been living under a rock, you might have seen this box circling around on social media. So, you see black box, green Nike branding on top, just like the uh, regular Jordan 1 boxes, but instead of red, we got green. And here's a look at that box label. And I'm going to read it out loud for you guys. It says Air Jordan 1 Retro. High OG. Color is black, lucky green, and white. And this is a size 14. Shout out to JTSG's Closet. OJ the Sneaker Guy. Appreciate you fam for delivering this pair to me. Fair shipping as I show you that lot stamp right there. OJ the Sneaker Guy. Good people. Not the first time we done did business. You got your white tissue paper here, and we have no green and white sticker inside the box. That's pretty much what comes with the uh, sneaker. Nice size box for these size 14 things. Now let's get into the sneaker. Here we go guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG and the Lucky Green colorway. Let me know your thoughts on the sneaker at first sight. I mean, looks pretty good. Material seem decent, but let's dive in. We got a uh, lucky green going around your ankle collar, and the leather is kind of soft. It looks tumble, has that tumble look, tumble feel. You do have your Air John logo on here in black, and it's kind of puffed out. You have white on your quarter panels, decent grain and leather, kind of soft. Black Nike swoosh, black going down your eyelids and around your mud guards. You do have a black toe Air Jordan 1 right here before you. As I get to the midsole, you have white on the midsole, lucky green at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. Bright lucky green, bright lucky green on the outsole. This is your regular uh, Jordan 1 branding on the outsole. Looking at the back of the sneaker, you do have black up here. The leather, oh, uh, it looks kind of straight. It's, I felt soft the leather on Air Jordan 1, so that's where I'm at with it. And you got more of that lucky green colorway coming around from the lateral side. As we make it to the medial side of the sneaker, you do have your black swoosh coming around and have black on that lace eyelets and going down to the uh, mud guard lucky green on the heel coming around from the lateral side as well and again you have white on the midsole with the lucky green at the very bottom now we're gonna take a look at the toe box but before that gotta pay some bills <laughs> now nah, I'm just kidding we do have tissue in here it comes with that tissue and you do get a extra set of laces this is how your lace is supposed to look. So if you're getting an early pair, make sure it looks just like these. These are authentic pair of sneakers. The extra laces are black. There are no white laces. It comes factory with the lucky green in here. And let's see if I can give you guys a better look at that toe box. This is where I'm at. It looks kind of wrinkled. It kind of reminds me of the toe box on the true blue Jordan ones. If y'all remember, I did a video on that a few weeks ago. Y'all can go back. Check that out after you finish watching this video if you want to compare the leather on the toe box. And like I said earlier, you got the flat lucky green laces. You have the black nylon tongue. And you do have a black woven patch with the lucky green Nike Air branding. <clears throat> Excuse me. Flip it around the other side. You got lucky green writing on that uh woven patch back of the tongue is black you do have a black sock liner cotton sock liner going all the way around it's kind of smooth 
uh, insert does come out. Black, let me get it where you can read it. Black insert, material nice soft cotton. Lucky Green Nike Air branding, and you do have your side sticker, side 14, and the other side of the sneaker, black, you know, as one of those uh, dream cell inserts, another dream cell insert. And I still have a wore a pair of sneakers with those inserts. I gotta, uh, I gotta break one in just to see, cause I'm bringing these reviews and letting you guys in on this info. I don't know how it feels. I'm depending on you guys to tell me how it feels. As I look at the sizing tag, it says US size 14, and the production date is September the 24th to November the 8th. So a little under two months of production with these. Not sure what the uh, stock count is gonna be on these. And these are set to release in full family sizing. So uh, with that being said, I'm thinking Foot Locker is going to have these. Uh, definitely JD Sports. And uh, if y'all still got Finish Line, uh, if y'all still got uh, Jimmy Jazz Snipes, they're going to have these. Uh, and of course, your uh, Tier 0 and Tier 1 boutiques are gonna have these fit on these you can go true to size on these true to size and jaw ones jaw and runs do tend to run a little big so you're gonna have a little extra room there's no need to size up in these stick with your regular jaw and one size in these and that's pretty much the review on this sneaker let me know your thoughts on the sneaker let me know your plans for this sneaker i'm kind of undecided if I'm going to uh, rock these, which is why I did not do an on feet look. If I decide on these, I'm going to give you guys that on feet look. Just stay tuned to the channel. And before I go, like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.